absurd things to happen in this game as we get right into game one between mm -hmm. these two. I feel like I already spent. Uh, oh, first of all, we're on PS2, of course. Great gentleman stage to start with, with any character. However, Noko already going in with a bunch of. Racking up a lot of percentage on Nick sees of uh, Captain Falcon. However, he might just bring it right back with his own combos. Ooh. Bunch of Captain Falcon's gray aerials. Oof. Yeah, you you know that the punish game is just going to be there from Noku and Nixie. In general, Captain Falcon he has really good punish game, but it requires reads. And I wonder whether Nixie is going to find those reads early on, or whether it might take him a while to pick up on uh, Noku's habits. It's a good job that Nixie was able to um, at least recover off the ledge from. <gasps> oh. Boop, boop, boop. Okay. Oh, I was <laughs> I was caught so off guard by that. What? But again. Yeah. He should be fine. He has to switch to yeah, Charizard. Oh, he's oh. not fine with the Captain Falcon <laughs> spike. And that's so. Which worth noting when Captain Falcon does that down air to hit below the ledge. That is, I believe, it's frame perfect. It was explained to me. I could get more detail into later on. For in, but in the meantime, I'm curious to see whether or not Noku can actually get this comeback going. He's taken already 31 percent, 61. <gasps> and Noku had such a great lead with this first round, racking up the first a bunch, bunch of damage on Nixie. However, he is gonna. Be would take out that third, that first stock off of Nick, leaving him with a zero with a yeah. great like. Ooh, I love that dash attack opener. It can lead to so much mm -hmm. damage, especially on a fast faller like Captain Falcon. Oh man, look at this. He does have the water gun charged up. I wonder if he's just gonna let it loose for a bit of stage positioning because Captain Falcon is a character that a little bit of stage positioning can go a long way. Mm -hmm. How, oh, I'm surprised he's right in the middle of the stage where Captain Falcon is pretty much still the, still on like the the even like the ledge, but um. But earlier when when Squirrel did use War Gun against uh, Nixie's Captain Falcon, oh, that was great gr avoiding that. He was able to recover just fine because he has he still had his uh, his uppy. Did you oh see that? Oh my gosh! That was so cool! <laughs> oh my god! Goes for the side beat to stall out the trump. That was absolutely incredible. Nixie is up oh, he's going nuts right Nixie now. Nixie plays like a crackhead. It's he's absolutely just oh. To have that jump, always hit that second jump, please. Oh. Wow, I, Noku was not expecting to get hit by that, and all of a sudden, that was so slick. I don't know how it didn't kill. I, mean, I didn't even know that it can reach that far. I, oh my goodness. Mm. Both play. Oh. oh, buddy, he's looking for the neutral air. I don't know what's going to happen when he does. Okay, okay. good job from uh, Noku actually getting the up smash out of shield. That's but that such neutral air is still to the, to the I, threat right now. I know. I don't know. I feel like if that neutral air landed, he was dead. The fact he was going for it so much, there was some nefarious plot going he on has in some, mind. He was training something with that Nair. Don't know what it was. Oof. Oh, but this is honestly kind of the same situation at the, from the beginning of this game. Oh, now he doesn't have a jump. He's so oh, far he's out done. there, there's yep. no way he's coming yep, back from that. Yep, that's it. Ivysaur is down air, and that'll be it for Nixie. But that was just a really intense game. I wanted to see that one uh, one stock taken by uh, taken by Falcon. Oh, yeah, that middle stock. Yes. If we could, uh, well, also, this final stock was amazing. Yes, it was absolutely great. Very edge of that back air managing to do it, yeah. And it's so good to keep that uh that water gun charged. Oh yeah, here it was. Also, you had sixty two. Here, oh no no this one. Oh yeah, this here's stock. That 62 oh. Absolutely destroyed uh poor Charizard. But here we go, right back on PS2 where both players oh Oh, Noko coming in with those Squirtle combos, keeping Nick right off the stage. Hopefully he has uh, water guns charged up in order to keep him off the ledge, but it seems not to this time. I'm sure he's going to try right back to get back again, right back off the ledge, just like this. Oh, I'm surprised he's changed it to Ivysaur instead of trying to keep Nixie off and I, taking his jump. Oh, but I mean, look at the, the effect yep. right now. He's changed from trying to put him off the stage to juggling him. Oh, but it is worth noting that Ivysaur probably is the worst disadvantage of the three. And you do not want to be in disadvantage against Nixie's Falcon. Oh, that should be it. Yeah. Yeah, that's it. A very quick first stock from Noku. And here we go. No so it seems like Char uh, Charizard. Haha, <laughs> Squirtle is, in fact, his, his combo starter. Definitely the one yeah. who's racking the most damage on uh, Nixie. And you could see he's very well practiced in this matchup because Gatsby loves to go for up B out of shield, and you saw he spot dodged the up B. It was, uh, again, I think again. he spot dodged it. He just knows that that's what Nixie's looking for. Nixie has to adjust his game plan, but it's so late in the game already. He needs to kill the Squirtle ASAP because otherwise. Oh, it's gonna be another down air. Oh. Gonna work. He really tried it though, but this time it just wasn't close enough. 
but uh, Noku's Charizard taking up a lot of damage on Nixie's, uh, <laughs> you know, Captain Falcon. And ooh, ooh, both players not unknown to do right now. It's kind of playing That's... back and forth. Oh, there, yep, that'd be stock. But both players kind of playing back and forth with the center of the stage, trying to control, really trying to dominate the situation right at the moment. But I think right now, Noku is definitely telling Nixie, hey, I'm, I, I have control at the moment. Uh, I don't know how much control he really has. He's gonna. Oh, yeah. <gasps> that was so. I, you thought he was gonna go to the ledge, but he actually pulled back. And that gave him more stage positioning. Mm -hmm. Squirtle is pretty much gonna have to take a stock with, you know, stage positioning in mind here. So really smart from Nick C. Oh, but you're having to land against Ivysaur now. Oh boy. Ivysaur, of course, godly at ledge guarding, but not this time because Nick is able to come right back on stage and really just, just whip Noku's uh, Ivysaur. Oh, what a crap! Oh, oh, but that was me. That was me game for a second. However, ooh, ooh, ooh. And we're, oh, we're he's avoiding all the store spawns, the spore spawns. Yeah, and we're seeing the adaptation right now. The way that Nixie is just so beautifully playing around. What? Okay, cool. Um, that's the flame though, thrower yeah. does cancel out. Uh, Captain Falcon's down, down. Uh, as zombie. <laughs> it, that was a zombie. It was zombie. Okay. Yeah, that was Falcon kick. Uh, but so here's a bit of a risky play from Noku because. Uh, oh, doing that, wow, the that the, was... the vine with right under the ledge, the ledge again. A great play, really. Trying yeah. to get a little bit of distance and then going right back in. Yeah, we're seeing a lot of run up shield. Ah, yep, that, that will be. Yep. That Falcon kick was so good. He actually stopped in place to position himself, you know, just miss spacing Noku. Oh Ooh. no, the fact that it's back off stage. Oh, but here oh. comes the damage. Let's see how much he can actually get. Nick C looking for quick tilts, trying to stuff out this uh, this little turtle in front of him. Yeah, he's going for a lot of full hops and maybe trying to find something on the landing. But a back throw is putting yep. him off stage. How is he going to actually make it back here? Charging up. He was charging up that water gun, possibly to keep him off the ledge and do exactly what he did in the last game where he took away his second jump and rendered him essentially just stockless. Oh, but I'm not sure if it's gonna happen again. Cause Nick C is just, oh yeah. My god! Oh for a second I thought he came back. Uh but that was a beautiful uh oh, Nick C oh, absolutely just decimating Ivysaur's last uh Ivysaur's last stock. Yeah, you scouted that switch from a mile away. He because part of it is that when you're Squirtle, you die so easily. Mm -hmm. You're so squishy. So as soon as this happened right here, also he was at 72. My god, that move is so powerful. Uh but the, also, I just want to say, the fact that Nixie was down by a lot in this game. Like, look at this here. Yes. He's, he's dead, you know? And the rest of the game felt like he was immaculately played. All of Noku's edgeguarding attempts just did not bear fruit. Every single time he tried to, like, really get a lot of mileage off of a hit, it was not happening mm -hmm. anymore. So as we move into game three... Uh, I actually, I think Nick C's odds are looking pretty good. Noku has to make some quick adjustments, otherwise we're just going to re get a repeat of those last two stocks in game two. And for the third round in a row, we're back on PS2. Clearly both players are very comfortable on the stage, very comfortable with the... Uh... <gasps> Ooh. Oh man, these spot dodges in each other's faces. Yeah. Oh! Ooh. What well, is this combo? Oh, look, look, see, that was what he was trying to do the whole time, I swear. <laughs> and he finally did it. And look how much percent it took off. It took 67%. How did that have, how did oh. that down smash miss? Oh, things can get really dicey here. Noku loves to get early stages, early kills off Ooh, stage with Ivysaur. But that's not going to be quite it. Possibly going for another. Uh, oh, if 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 um if Noku was down on the air again and on a ledge, I'm sure Nixie would have gone for another down uh, off this ledge down air. Oh, absolutely. He is mm -hmm. going to look for those big hits yep. when he can. Right here. Yeah, Ooh. okay, didn't get the timing for it, but the threat, oh man. I, I will say that it feels like Nick C has sort of figured out Noku's timings. Mm -hmm. His spot dodges and air dodges in particular just seem to always be, you know, finding the exact moment. So, Noku maybe has to mix it up just a little bit more. Wow. And Noku has to really be careful with the timing of his own recovery in order to make sure to not, not get spiked by uh by Falcon's down air. Ooh. And he, keeps ha he keeps trying and keeps just... The timing is just a little bit off. He's gonna be yeah. a little more tighter on that. Is he gonna? Okay, no, yeah. He was it. just a little bit mm -hmm. too far away from the platform, so up throw wouldn't have killed. But now Noku at 167. So much Falcon has will actually do the job. The question is whether Nixie can actually find it before. That's enough. No, it's no, not. No, it's not. Charge do be kind of heavy though. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Jeff! What was that? That was so quick. 
<laughs> the turnaround <laughs> reaction time. Can we appreciate it? Oh, and the low recovery. Super low for Mixie. Again with another up B. So much damage from it. That up is not hitting. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, man. Mixie's disadvantage got cleaned up so good in this game three. He's out alive. He's 177. You don't I'm, do that. I'm so surprised that... Oh, he's still alive at 191%. I'm just not... And he Ow. recovered. The, the timings, man. He is inside Noku's head. And Falcon is one of the characters that does the best with that. All right, oh, a little bit. Okay, okay. okay. Get really yeah. good spike by Noku. Really su shutting down Nick's uh, ledge play and, and air play, really. And also, subtle thing that's really good for Nick in this position, Noku cannot afford to go to Squirtle. He can't get those big combos. Ivy Store ideally would have been heavier, but he ends up dying regardless. Now that we have this Squirtle, it is a clean, clean stock up for Nick C. Let's see if this... Uh, if the squirrel can actually do anything, but look at this. That's, if Nick is, is is even gonna allow him to start his combo, which he has. Oh no, he he said no, absolutely not. Only twenty percent this time. I just love the adaptation from Nick C. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, he's switching out there. Oh, oh I a he... very bold up B. However, just in the wrong direction. I mean, if he went the other direction really... and didn't land, I'm pretty sure he would have died I from definitely, that. I definitely know what he thought he was gonna air dodge to the stage, it. and that's it. That's the knee, wow. the Captain Falcon knee. And just look at the differential between game one and game three. Oh boy, Nick C just wasn't getting hit by anything. He was living to 180%. He was finding those early kills. He was dodging all of these hits. And you could really see the way that he changed his approach in neutral, specifically against Squirtle. Bunch of F tilts, bunch of mm -hmm. jabs, you know, a little bit more range and faster moves. Those are not typically the types of uh, moves that you, you know, think of about Falcon neutral. Normally it's like, oh, let me run in, dash grab, dash attack. But the fact that he realized that that was his win condition was so, so good. It's almost like he used the first game as a, like, to really oh my God, read you, out. No, can we go back? Oh, Did you see, like, wait, wait, we need to see Nixie's smile on the fist bump there. You gotta see this. Look at that face, he goes in for that. Oh, that Aww. smug look, just the. Like, I got this. 